Yo, what's good guys? This is Nightwing2303. Welcome back to another unboxing a ton of dope shit. So we've got a bunch of dope stuff. Not only do we have a couple of sneaker related items, but this is very nerd centric. So if you are into nerd shit, this one's for you. Let's go. Brand new sneaker box, co box. Let's go ahead and see what's inside. Summer theme. So we got some sunglasses. Says that they're way far style sunglasses. Don't know what that means. I mean, obviously it's the brand and everything, but I don't know if that's a good brand or not. I'm actually not really into sunglasses. But here they are, so I guess if, if you're a sunglass expert, you can let me know. But how do they look? With this cool ass tag right on my nose. Looks like we got a watch here. The brand is called Dial Swap. So this is actually kind of cool. It's a little bigger than what I would be used to. That's what she said. <gasps> hey, nice. I personally don't wear watches just because I use my phone for my time, but if I did, I would like something a lot slimmer than this. This is very thick, but the face of it's really cool. It's got that cement print in there, so it match fours. It's it's like my favorite look, like that splatter pen, that cement gray and black splatter. So very dope. Looks like the the uh, the hands glow in the dark as well. So again, Dial Swap is the uh, the brand, so that's neat. You actually might be able to change these out. It looks like the silicone band. Oh yeah, definitely. Okay, so yeah, you could definitely take this out. So I'm sure that there's different faces that you could buy. There's probably different bands that you could buy too, which is pretty neat. So if you're into that kind of stuff, go ahead and check them out. We got a mint lifesaver, which I will have right now because I just ate lunch and I had a burrito, so spicy. Oh, we got two just in case that was a gnarly burrito. We have a lanyard here. Let's see who it's from. Rope lace supply. That's who I thought it was from. So any lanyard guys out there, there you go. You can have a sneaker inspired one. It's got that Yeezy lace kind of look to it. Got some more shoe deodorizer and dehumidifiers. I really could have used this on my trip to Atlanta. I had a hoop session there and I forgot to bring these with me and I had no way to dry out the shoes that I wore to play ball in. So I wish that I brought these with me. So this is a good pickup. Last but not least, we got some more sneaker art. I love this stuff, man. And I just picked these up, so pretty cool. So that's everything that was inside the latest Sneaker Box Co. Box. If you are interested in subscribing to their subscription service, all you gotta do is click the link in the description box and we're gonna keep it moving. Sandal Boys pickup. These were from Fran Alations. If you haven't heard of Sandal Boys, it's his company and it's actually really high quality stuff. So I love how they smell, by the way. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's glue or vinyl or paint or whatever, but whatever it is, that smells good. And here they are. Not exactly sure if these are available already, but if they are, I will leave a link in the description box below. I'll actually leave a link anyways, just in case you want to check them out. But it's high quality slides. These ones fit a lot nicer than the original ones. They're ultra true to size, by the way. So if you are interested, make sure you get your true size or go up a size if you like a little bit of room in your slides. Now I got this fuzzy guy right here. If you remember the elephant print rug that I got, this is from the same company. It's Spilled Co. And this is a sneaker themed throw blanket. It's gonna be too big to show all the detail in the video. I mean, just check it out, dude. This is sick. You got Yeezys on there for your hype beasts. You got superstars. You got dunks. I think those are some Reeboks right there. Some S Carters or something like that. You got New Balance. You even got some J's. Actually, those are not J's. Those are dunks. Oh no, there are J's down there. there. There's some threes down there. Oh man, they only got the toe of the Reebok question. Damn. But this thing is sick. It's nice and soft too. So if you are interested in any of this kind of sneaker themed stuff for your house or your man cave, maybe your garage, game room, I don't know, go ahead and hit them up. Link in the description box below. Moving on to apparel. I think you guys are going to like some of this stuff. First up, we got some shorts. This is from Jerseyzilla Bespoke. These are the guys that I had make our wear tester shorts. Very nice quality. The print is in the fabric, which is dope. So you can see that it's printed directly in there and it's not coming off. I've washed mine a number of times and it hasn't like worn or faded or anything and that includes with drying. And I think these are like a, uh, a warrior inspired short. So not only are they for, you know, Golden State colors, but also you got that kind of tribal warrior look on the short as well, which is kind of a play on words of the warriors. And some more warriors themed colors. And it says Swish Life right there. Swish Life, winners only. This is a fire tee. I believe they also come in other colors, so if you're not interested in Dubs colors, then they got other stuff as well. Go ahead and check them out. Got a Hoops of Anarchy, winners only tee. And then my personal favorite, Bang Bang. <laughs> Look at that, that fool looks high as a <laughs> <laughs> this shirt's funny as hell, man. So we got two more sneaker inspired pickups. Not inspired, what the hell am I talking about? So we got two more sneaker pickups and then afterwards we're gonna move on to nerd shit. So if you do not like the nerd stuff, you can leave right after that. If you are like me and you embrace your nerd side, then you wanna stick around. So first this guy, I think it's from Champs, but I'm not sure. It feels kinda heavy, so it could be anything. Nope, it's from Champs. 
It's super heavy though. I don't know what the hell they got in this. What shoe could possibly weigh this much? Oh, it's not just shoes. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Got some Under Armour apparel. What are these? Ooh, these are clean. Kind of like man capris, but not quite as long. These are pretty dope. And we got a cool jacket to go with it. Whoops. And then... What is this? What is this? Charge cushion gum bottoms. Okay, gum bottoms. Foot map. Pretty cool. Charge cushion midsole. Feels nice and soft. Feels very similar to the Speedform Fortis, which I like. Weird upper. Don't know what this is. Looks like a heather sweatpant. 3M stripe. Wool knitted toe and tongue. Is this a lifestyle shoe? Like, what is this? Is this a training shoe that looks like a lifestyle shoe? So it says Under Armour Pursuit Collection. There you go. I still don't know what these are. I don't know if these are, I don't know if these are performance or not. They're funny looking though. They kind of look like a skate shoe or like a chucka mixed with a trainer. But if you like them, link will be in the description box. Hype beast alert, like for real. Hype beast on fleek right here. Yes, sir. I f caved and I got a pair of Yeezys. I was at Kicks Fair. I was there making an appearance. We also collaborated and did a wear testers hoop session times Kicks Fair hoop session, which went really well. It was in Atlanta. Shout out to everybody that went. It was awesome meeting everybody. You guys are super cool. But while I was at Kicks Fair, I bought a pair of Kicks. <laughs> it was the most expensive pair of Kicks I've ever bought. I do kind of regret it, but Boost is life. Although these do not feel anywhere near as comfortable as Ultra Boost, I'll give it that. So if you like Yeezys, there you go. Now the black ones, this is not the newest version. This is the, uh, what was it, 2015 I think they came out. Got the insole in there, worn them around already, but there's the Boost. And that's pretty much it. This cop legitimately makes me feel bad about myself because I spent that much on these, but YOLO, wrong rapper, whatever. Now onto the good stuff. So, nerd. These right here are my favorite pickup that I got. <laughs> Power Rangers Legacy Collection, green and red. Yeah, buddy. Each character comes with a Build-A-Figure Megazord, except for the Green Ranger. They gave him the Sword of Evil instead. Not mad at that, though. And you can see uh, Jason right here, or Rocky, whoever it is you want to pretend is in there, comes with the top section of the Megazord. I love these. I can't wait for the rest of them to come out. Super stoked. Man, these are dope. Dope. I went a little Funko Pop crazy. I ran into this at Toys R Us and had to get it because it is Robin as Batman. How cool is that? Then I went to GameStop just to see if they had any of the Power Ranger collection, just in case, because I did get the Green Ranger and I know that I wasn't planning on grabbing the other Rangers, but I just wanted to see. And while I was there, ran into Gwen Stacy with the mask, yes yeah, son! And all three of these guys. Come up! So, I grabbed these, grabbed those, couldn't be happier. Squad up. I still haven't seen the movie as of today, as of the day that this is recording. Not sure when this is gonna upload. So I'm hoping that I don't regret buying these figures. But I got Harley right there, got Batman right there, and this is the same exact figure as the Batman vs Superman figure, but this one comes with some accessories and an extra head with the gas mask or, or water breather mask or whatever that is. And we got Will Smith as Deadshot. And then last but not least, ran into this guy right here. You cannot pass up a giant size Marvel Legends cap figure. You can't. I mean, I'm sure you you can, but you shouldn't. It's not American. Just kidding. But here you go. This is just like the uh, Spider-Man one. Comes with different hands. Got the the uh, mask right there. You got the other head. You can look all cool. Do this with it. You can hold it or whatever. It's super articulated. No, it is nothing like those super fancy hot toys or anything like that, but I am perfectly content with stuff like this. I love it. And that concludes unboxing a ton of dope whatever number we're on. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for your support. Really appreciate it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed. So, until next time, guys. Have a good one. Problem, while dust will get in there and you will have to wipe periodically, the grip on these things are insane. And on top of that, you can see that it's just multi-directional. This goes everywhere. But overall, the traction here was fantastic. As far as cushion, we've got full length boost. And as you know, boost is life. What we have is a TPU wrap on the entire lateral end. Meanwhile, the medial side is completely exposed. Don't worry, midsoles are different as well. The traction's way different. They added traction, they added some uh, teeth in there because I was getting some slippage in here. So everything that I complained about in the sample, they actually fixed on the retail version. Two of the main things that I had complained about was that the heel counter right here, or not the heel counter, but the heel padding just wasn't substantial enough. It needed to be a little bit more heavy on the padding, a little bit more sculpted. 